Whoa. Whoa. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Never Alone, also known as Kasimi Inakucha, which is of course Inuit for Never Alone. <laughs> this is a game based on an Inuit tale. It has been in development for one and a half years by E-Line and Upper One Games, and I found it to be quite a compelling story. It is more uh, story-based than gameplay-based, but for what it is, it is actually quite impressive, and I thank them for the review copy. So, one of the things I'd like to point out is look at how the stones fall into the water differently every time. That and the wind and the water effects really bring this game to life for me, and the graphics are really nice as well. So you play as a little girl and a fox. They're both adorable. Just look at this. Oh, where'd he go? Ho ho! Aww. I love them already. The little girl has Ebola. Her name is Nuna. It can be used to... Well, it takes a little finesse, but it can be used to hit those things. Um, and the fox can drag those things around with his mind powers, because everybody knows fox has mind powers. Hi, bird! Nuna can also drag things, um, because the fox is too lethal to be dragging giant crates of metal around. But, uh, the fox is also more agile than Nuna, so he can do things like wall climb, and get to the top of this, and drop the rope for Nuna, so she can climb up. Awesome teamwork in this game. It's great with co-op. So, the fox isn't completely helpless. He can do wall jumps and crawl through small spaces just like that. And uh, he also can use his mind powers to move some of the uh, animals around, which is pretty nice. There's also a lot of unlockables in this game, which uh, should increase the replay value. And the unlockables are actually like cinematics that uh, are really well cut together. I don't know if the gorgeous landscapes that they got are stock footage or not, but it doesn't really matter because what I stick around for is the tales from the 40 plus elders that they talk to. And here's one now. Celia is the weather. It also means the atmosphere. Here's the Nuna or the land. And it's anything from the land into the moon, the sun, the stars. That's Celia. Beautiful. It's uh, it's a very spiritual, and we have a relationship with Celia. And the relationship has gone south. Oh God! How did this happen? The wind is definitely a threat in this game. Uh, platforming between these ice blocks. Uh, and here we go. Whoop! She goes for a little dip, <laughs> but eventually you can use to uh, use the wind as your ally, like so. A lot of people think platforming through ice is boring, but uh, there's a lot of different types of ice. This is uh, some iceberging action, which is freaking some of the best platforming. I really like how powerful it feels when they slam together. This is inside an ice cave. I'm going to break this up here so the fox can jump down and use his mind powers to lower the platform so Nuna can jump up. I love this. It's so fun. There's also underwater levels, which are obviously quite beautiful with the sunlight beaming through. You don't have to go to the top and breathe. This game is a bit casual for some people's tastes, I'm sure. But if you're looking for a good story, you definitely found it. Because I, I've been playing for three hours, still haven't completed it, and I'm still interested. Here's a boss battle with the bear. Uh, the fox is supposed to distract him. And Nuna hits him in the back with Ebola. <laughs> hey, Ebola. Oh. And then we run through here. The boss battles do take some braining. Um, because you only take one hit and you die. And you will meet a lot of enemies who are out for your blood. Oh my god, the bear's back! How'd you come back? What are you doing? Luckily you have friends. And they speak to you in Inuit. 
So cool. So, this has been Kisama in a Chuna, Never Alone. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I c sincerely c hope you will consider this game for a purchase. This has been another Dayton Dissects, and I hope you will join me for the next time. Comment of the week goes to Zombie Goomas Gaming. So good to see you back, bro. I'll make sure to put you in the featured channels. Until next time, friends. Bye bye!